Hi guys. Over the past few days, I've been hitting the books again since I finished Orborella, um, starting to just learn more stuff in order to work on the next game and start improving the kind of the library that I've been developing. And I've kind of hit maybe kind of like a little bit of a crossroads. I think I finally understood what was meant when I kept reading. When I first started to look into Monogame, one thing that I kept hearing was, if you want to use Monogame, you're going to have to roll your own engine. And I thought to myself, I don't want to build an engine, but I'll worry about that later. And I didn't really think um, too much about it. So what I've got in front of me here, um, this is my pong game which i cannot build at the moment because i've got 29 errors and the same thing with orborella i've got 25 errors and the reason for that is that as every time i'm learning new stuff i am developing my calamo library which is what i'm now realizing the beginnings of a kind of an engine so this is the book that i've been mainly working from so i've been learning more from this than anything else now when i first started to look into this i kind of i found these two books here both on monogame and both of them talk about doing a game engine and i thought to myself oh no i don't, I don't want to be building an engine I'll, I'll skip those and this book here when i sort of had a look through the table of contents and everything it it shows that it's building out four different games and i thought oh yeah great what I've realized now, I'm kind of about two thirds of the way through it. I'm just starting on the third game and I've realized it's still doing the same thing. We're building out an engine. My, that my Calamo library is the beginnings of an engine. And what I've realized is that in order to get anything done in Mono Game, you really have to put in a lot of code just to, to do things which nowadays I take for granted so for example I talked about um, wanting to have like a UI so one of the things that I wanted is to be able to have um, something at the beginning where you could like turn the sound off for example and in this game I've um, sorry not in this game in this book that I've been working through it's finally come up to a chapter on UI and I was like oh great that's exactly the kind of thing I want to learn 20 pages later We've created a button class, a switch class, and a class to represent a slider and get that stuff on the screen. 20 pages of stuff just so you can allow the player to turn the volume down on the music. And it's like, okay, this is kind of too much detail. Um, so what I'm realizing is that if I carry on going down this route that I've been doing, I am basically going to be rolling my own engine, which is probably going to be a pile of crap because how much can you learn from just, you know, a handful of books? You know, this one talks about doing a whole engine, but again, it's like 300 pages. How much can you learn from 300 pages? This one is even smaller. It's only two. I think this one is more optimization of the engine, but you know, how much can you learn? There's, there's no way I could build something that was even remotely usable for anything but just the most trivial of games and this is the other problem is that I wanted to be able to build several games along the way I mean I'm quite pleased that I've done two games in just a few weeks but of course every time I change my engine I'm breaking the games that are built with it and this is the problem if you try to build games based on an uh, uh, engine which is in constant development nothing is going to work and at the moment I've only got two games but if I if I continue down this road it's sort of like six months time I might have however many games four five six games they're all going to be broken all the time I'm going to be constantly having to refactor now of course going down this path learning in this way I am learning a lot which is good and I am interested in kind of how these engines are kind of built behind the scenes but at the end of the day I have to ask myself the question, do I want to be an engine programmer? And the answer to that is absolutely no. So I figure at this point, I've got a couple of different options. So if I want to continue with Monogame and a code based framework, which is something which is familiar to me, one thing that I could do is to move away from trying to you know, build my own and start working with an already established 
um, engine. So this particular GitHub repo is just a collection of um, pre-built, not just engines, but all sorts of libraries and different things which have been you know, very well established. So for example here, I've got a few examples of engines. So Monogame Extended, this is one of the most popular one. It's been in development for many years. 125 contributors it's uh, it's well tested it's got documentation you know it, there's no way i could build anything myself from a few books that comes close to something like this and it's the same thing with this one there's this is another very very popular one and it's kind of the same it's been in development for years and years it's got hundreds of contributors it's tested you know i can't do something with this one thing that i did find as well this um going back to this list of engines um murder this one is a entity control system based uh, specifically for pixel games but they have actually built a visual engine with this this is actually really cool um so if i wanted to go with a visual editor and only ever wanted to do pixel games you know something like this would be cool i'm probably not going to do something like that but i just thought it was you know pretty interesting um so if i wanted to go down this route i would need to dig into these kind of engines really look into what they offer and what I wanted to use and then I'd probably need some other little bits and pieces on top so for example a UI um, library there and possibly a physics library depending on what kind of games I wanted to do you know there's some stuff here for artificial intelligence so there's lots of stuff that I can pick and choose from to kind of roll my own not roll my own but to have a more feature rich set of tools to work with um, the downside of these kinds of engines is that there's not much help out there I and mean, obviously you've got some discord channels you've got the documentation you've got loads of um, samples that you can use and you know you can dig through the code on github and have a look at stuff there where's the sample stuff on one game it has meant it was mentioned somewhere i saw it somewhere um but it's it's going to be less hand holding with this you know i'd have to really kind of like get used to reading api references and stuff like that the other option is to move over to a visual engine which for me would be a choice between um godot or unity so i had a look on udemy now um if you have a look on udemy and search for a course on monogame it says six results there are not there are two there are two courses here for monogame and i have bought and worked through one of them which was this one here um and honestly it was an absolute pile of crap um six hours six and a half hours and i learned absolutely nothing that i didn't already have uh, that i hadn't already learned from the book and the thing is when you look through the uh the details of it, it's like oh it's got all these you know three different games including an rpg it's like oh wow that sounds good it's got like a camera system animation like great you know sounds good uh, when I came to these things, what he means by camera is let's just drop in someone else's camera class. And what he means by animation is let's just drop in a pre-built animation class written by somebody else. So he doesn't teach you anything. So I didn't get anything out of this course that I wouldn't get by just, you know, dropping in someone else's class. So that really pissed me off. So yeah so for monogame it's very much you've got to figure it all out yourself if i wanted to go with say unity or godot there's a lot of help out there there's so many kind of courses here you know udemy have got another one of their sales at the moment there's always a sale on so you can get any one of these courses you know this one that says 78 it's not really he's got an old course archived within it but it's still something like 30 hours of content there you've got whole you know big courses on you know some really in-depth stuff and for unity it's even crazier <laughs> 1500 results there and again really high quality stuff i had a look at this one this one looked really interesting um a complete rpg and it just looked really in-depth and there's just so much help out there but of course for me one of my dilemmas is something that i talked about in my first video where I talked about game dev is that I'm familiar with code, a code based framework. That is what is familiar to me. Whereas having a visual based 
engine you know she's basically like a, an editor in a way and then attaching little scripts of code behind it that's a whole new kind of paradigm for me so I would have to really learn a new way of building games in that way so at the moment I feel like I'm just at this crossroads I, I feel like I can't carry on the way I'm going well I could I could carry on I to be quite honest I'm really enjoying this book I probably will still keep reading through it but what I'm not going to do is what I was doing here was I was reading the book taking some of the ideas from it along with other stuff that I've been reading loads of different stuff and like watching tutorials and then kind of building my own what I'd called it a library but I now realize it is really just kind of a little an engine building my own along the way and then building my own games on top of it I could continue down this route but I'm not going to get very far in the time it would take you know I could spend I could read all three of these books and spend maybe yeah six months maybe even a year building out something build a handful of games but like I said I'd be in a constant state of brokenness with everything you know not working while I'm constantly building that engine I would learn a lot but I wouldn't really get very far and one of my problems as just someone who's older is I just I know that I don't have huge amounts of time I feel like I just want to make more progress more quickly and so if I'm going to continue with Monogame it's going to be down this route I might still read those books for for learning for reference but I'm not going to be trying to build my engine my own engine at the same time so I'm either going to continue down this route or I'm going to switch to Godot or Unity I mean this is something that I knew I was going to get to this point eventually it's come a lot sooner than I thought um, I didn't realize that that first video that I put up um, about learning game dev was actually just over a month ago I feel I feel like I've been doing this for longer um, I think I have been doing it for about two months but I'd only just started the YouTube channel kind of a few weeks in because when I first did that video I'd already created uh, the first version of Pong so I think it has been a couple of months that I've been working through this stuff now um, but honestly I thought I'd be working with Monogame for at least six months I might be if I continue down this route um, but I I'm feeling at the moment that pull of going towards one of the more visual engines so at the moment I just feel a little bit like oh I don't know what to do so I'm probably going to spend I don't know how long a few days a week looking through all of these looking may maybe do some some free courses on like Godot and Unity there's tons of stuff on YouTube for all of this kind of stuff I could pick up a couple of these courses they're cheap and uh, they've probably got some free ones actually um oh yeah so what is this this is Godot racing games I don't want to create a racing game that's unity um what have we got here for Godot that's free but anyway to be honest if I wanted something free I'd probably just go onto YouTube to be quite honest so yeah there's lots of stuff here so I'm going to spend some time just figuring out how I want to proceed and then kind of having to start over with something <laughs> So yeah this has been a bit of a rambly video um, and I'm not really sure where I'm going next but I just wanted to kind of like put this out there so this is where I'm at at the moment um, in my next video hopefully I'll have some kind of decision and a new sort of like roadmap for how I'm going to be continuing on so yeah that's where I'm at at the moment thank you very much for watching